Oh yeah, they're all um, they're all uh, Greek letters that are actually aligned with the letters of Aegis. So if you have a healing laser, <laughs> S types heal, so that's why it's Sigma. Oh. And uh, assault class robots tend to boost accuracy and damage, so that's why you'll find uh, EP laser alpha is the one that boosts accuracy. So that was something on. I actually didn't know. I just learned something about this game I've been working on. And Omega on. is for damaging lasers because it ends people. It's true. Omega is all... Is, you find Omega really? on all damaging What's lasers. Ender? That's just, not a great letter. Just the end. Ender. That's just, Ender Omega. Get it? It's ending, ending. Ending, ending. Yeah. Okay. That just starting? So, anyway, so anyway. Diane's team is <laughs> Diane. focused. Diane herself is a pretty fun robot. She has a sniper cannon shot with crit on it, and she has retaliate herself in that damage buff. But as I said, she can actually buff other units on her team with the retaliate ability as well. Which makes her, which means your opponents have to plan out uh, attacking you slightly more. Diana is actually one of the most power is probably the most powerful solo commander in the game, roughly. That depends how many dead units are in Atwell's side. Exactly. Um, yeah. Well, Atwell's at, to be fair, Atwell's the most powerful solo commander when he's alone. And he's actually alone. Diane is the most powerful solo commander when she has a team. But she doesn't combine, which is the thing, because Diane. Finds that combining is a tactic that weak robots use. No. <laughs> to Are you be forgetting stronger? your own Steven Universe quotes? Yeah, so what is it? Take it away. Diane. Combining is a cheap tactic to make re- weak robots stronger. Yes. That's what Diane says. Yes. So that's why she has no combines. Isn't, isn't All, right. Rebel? All right. Okay. Yeah. Let so us continue. My next robot is uh, the robot I affectionately dubbed Rice Spot. The uh, Arrows 400. Because we're edgy and we put a Z in the name. Arrows. Edge. Means rice. But it's also because it shoots arrows. It's an archer robot. Doesn't it only mean rice if it has two R's? Maybe. Yeah. Minor details. Okay. We're also Just bad wanted at, to confirm. We are also Your bad at spelling. But yeah, Arrows is good at shooting. He has a 100% accuracy attack. And just like other arrows in the game, he can attack and he can help an ally out. So his the buff the arrows has is an accuracy buff. So this combines with some of your other robots. Say, if you put it in Diane... Her rifle is now guaranteed hit, and she's guaranteed to buff herself. So the buffs can combo fairly nicely. A lot of synergy. Um, my next robot is the Goth. Now, the Goth's pretty interesting. Uh, it also has a buff on it, which is a 100% accuracy defense buff. But rather than buffing its own defense, it buffs the uh, defense of every robot within the two radius around it. So... It's a pretty tanky G-type. It has 6 integrity, and its attacks, if you hit, do a fair bit of damage, but its main usage is to get the rest of your team closer to your opponents. Since it can make everything pretty tanky. It's a guard class that guards. It is. Not, to be, conf- not to be confused with the Gon, which you'll see on Etwal's team, which is a G-type that buffs its own defense. Yes. So two different types of defensive guard robots in the game. What do we got next? Is the Gekkel 200. Sniper. Gekkels are all uh, G-types with sniper cannons on them. Uh, This Gekkel has uh, another 100% accuracy attack with aimed and crit. So it deals one damage based, something at 8 range, and for each of the two dice I roll that are a 6, it'll deal one more damage. And it's not affected by evasion. Uh, The other fun ability on this Gekkel is jamming. So it... If I pay one energy, it's basically reverse reroll. I can reroll one of my opponent's dice on an attack targeting it rather than rerolling one of my own dice. Jamming is cool. It's a special evasive ability that you find on I types generally, and then other higher level robots that incorporate I types. And also the Gekkel. Uh, and also the Gekkel. And also the Gekkel. Ge- Gekkels are. The guy we're talking Gekkel. about, yeah. Gekkels are G types that are traditionally uh, slightly more I type ish. The other Gekkel in the game has cloak rather than jamming. So they do get a tiny bit of eye type flavor in there. Yep, you're right, Robot Scott. We want to roll for the 100% attack for the Gekkel anyways, because the possibility to do more damage than one can occur, which is super cool. I thought that was a cool design. And I already mentioned the Snow 100, yep. which is just keeps my team going. We have healing. And uh, your partner's team going with and your healing partner's team going. And my partner's Only if you're team. a good partner, though. So... I believe that's, uh, if we you placed all your guys. No, we go for my combines now. Real quick. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to go through my combines as well, and then there are two other robots that are 
part of this team. Uh, so we have the Snow 2000. It's a just an upgrade to the snow. Gets some health. Uh, still pretty slow. It's a dinosaur. This it is, is a dinosaur. This carries on the theme of the team in that it has a big defense buff that I can target my allies. And it also has a pretty powerful uh, damaging laser on it as well. I actually really, really like this laser guy And if you a look lot. at the defense buff, it's EP Laser Gamma, which is, starts with a G. You think I name these attacks all willy-nilly, no. but there is some very, very... Only some of them. There is some very, very intense thinking going on here. So yeah, all There's defense, always very intense All thinking. defense buffing uh, lasers are gammas. My next combine, which I can't currently make on this team, I have set up right now, is the Inade 3000, which is an IS type. So can we. Uh, the Inade is a pretty interesting uh, support, <laughs> more support combine which has a damage debuff on my enemies <laughs> and a healing grenade for my allies. But its cool thing is it has both laser shield and beacon. So if you spend some extra energy, it can absorb laser attacks, and beacon means your opponent has to target it. So the inane's main usage is to absorb opposing laser fire, because they have to target it at infinite range, and then it just straight up, like, om nom noms it. And my final combine, the rank 3 of the team, is the Snow 6000. It's a dinosaur. A giant it's a laser dinosaur. dinosaur. Now, the Snow 6000 basically carries through everything else on the team. Its first attack is a gigantic accuracy and defense buff, anyone hit by the laser. Second attack is just solid damaging laser. And its third attack is an accuracy debuff to my enemies with crit. That's crit's coming off. That's actually a typo. <laughs> you don't you don't get a critical accuracy buff because that's unneeded. It's pretty strong. <laughs> critical accuracy debuff. But that I was it's like, like pocket sand that you load into a laser. That's actually just a spreadsheet error, but it's still cool. That's something that's going to be on a robot eventually. Critical just not this one. Critical. Just, yeah. yeah. This guy has a lot going on. This. So the Snow Six Thousand can do a lot. He can buff, can debuff, and he can snipe people with his laser. So yeah, he does. He's just all around robot. Does and damaging stuff, defensing stuff. Has a fairly good amount of integrity, as you'd expect from a giant dinosaur. Yep. All right. So that wraps up Kettle's team. Yeah. So he has a lot of like stat modifier robots that basically all help out Diane murder somebody. So... Either that, or you can use them on the Gecko to help the Gecko murder people. Let's take a look here. So I'm so going to place my robots Jesse's real quick. You, you saw these guys last game. They are the Expendables. Oh, 300 backer? Oh, good. Woo! So, yeah. Did somebody yeah. spread the word? Combining robots? Is the, is the bird the word? No. We are oh. at 25,766. Robots are the word. Good. Freeze place. I think someone backed the dollar just to get that 300th backer. That's fine. Works for me. That's a 300. Oh, yeah, yeah 300. Dude. Raise his place in his dude. So yeah, I'm rotating. I'm gonna shoot this guy right here. So will I do? Will I divide my forces again, or I will I go straight for Kettle's throat? I can't go after Jesse this game because he's. I mean, alive. I suppose technically you could. You could go after Sarah. You could probably still Friendly go after fire Jesse. Friendly fire is a thing. Friendly fire is a thing. I, right. I could technically beat up Jesse. Um, that's a bad idea. All right, that's all you, Sarah. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I want to do. I'll probably just do some, just play with some dudes, my duders. He's gonna spin around in a circle because I'm good at. There you go. I'll do it the other way next time. Twitter Ritter. Um, you can chill that over here. And a woman hashtag woman crush Wednesday. Oh, I didn't Wednesday know about that out. one either. Hm. Are guys allowed to do that? Um, sure. Maybe. Why not? All right, I place my dudes, and I forgot who went first already. Oh, I think Kettle goes first. No, no, Jesse goes first. Jesse goes first. Just kidding. Yeah. All right. I won the die roll. You did. I forgot already. Because I'm the best. You. Like Etwal. <laughs> Here's Etwal. So we have Jesse uh, role playing here. Uh, yeah, so to start things off, I'm going to walk my con off the board. No. Yeah! High-level place. I'm going to start things off <laughs> by adding up all of my energy. Ah, it's a good first move. That It's a very good strategy. Yeah. The ring with spirit bomb. So I have 16 energy to start things off. So we're going to kick that off by moving the gun four spaces. So I'm going to go down to 12 energy, and I'm going to move the gun around a little. 
So the gun is going to go one, two, three, four, because he's a waddling gun. He was pretty good for a G type. Need to move up my Arlie 100. So we're going to do that next. Let's see this Let's see. guy. Arlie 100 can move up to five spaces, and we're going to move him one, two, three, four, five spaces. Actually, not that five. That five. Um, so that puts me down to seven energy, not fourteen. Seven. Then I'm gonna move my XL100. Uh, Etwal is the pilot of the XL100, and his robot has a special ability called Jet. So he can move three hexes for every energy I spend to move him, and so his maximum movement currently is actually nine. So I am going to move him. One, two, three. And that's one energy four, point. Five, six. Two, two energy, energy points, yep. Look at him go. And then I'm going to position the L100. And I'm going to move it. One, two, three. And then I will spend my last two energy in order to move the I need up. One, two. Yay, uh, robots. And so, that's it for me. So it is kind of... now my turn. I have 19 starting energy. To start us off, I will... Hmm. Here's Diane as the commander and her art. I Actually one of my favorites. I think it's a pretty cool art. The art it's... came out real well. So the art for the commanders, the original character... I will give the golf retaliate. Good. The original character designs so were done guy. by me, and then we found an awesome guy named Daniel Olson to do uh, redesigns of all of them with sicker work, with sicker finishing work all around. Because before this, our commander art was from like three or four years. Yeah, ago. it was one of the first things you drew, I yeah. think, right? Yeah. So it was some of the oldest art, something near and dear to our hearts, and so, uh, so something that still needed to be. there is marking the. Re- who I'm giving retaliate to. <laughs> I was like, yeah. what is that actually in the, doing? In the actual so you see. game, there are tokens to Here. mark things like Diane's retaliate target yeah. or accuracy boosts or accuracy decreases or things like that. Also well, damage. We don't have that in the tabletop sim demo right now, so I'm just using one of the pieces that I'm not going to be playing with this game to mark off which unit has retaliate. Yep, damage will also be indicated by tokens as opposed to dice. Looks like, yeah, if you want to see Daniel Olson's sweet art, it's actually a wearemole.deviantart.com. So W E R E M O L E.deviantart. And he has, he's actually been posting our commander art right along as our campaign's been going. So I will now use the Goffs. Is that correct? Yeah, you're just talking about that. I just want to make sure. Let's see. And then... I will now use the Goff's defense buff on my. So, so there's. I will spend three, and this is a guaranteed hit. But I will roll the dice anyway. For fun! Rolling dice is fun! Game yeah, rules. There, we have a system. The system. The system right, is system. down. And that <laughs> will succeed. That's a good thing. I'm also rolling the dice now to get my ones out of the way early. <coughs> Excuse me. But all you need are ones to hit. Why would you want to get them out of the way? Ones um, are your best friend. And just to be safe, the arrows is going to accu- attempt to accuracy buff the goth. So there's another three so, dice, and I'm looking for twos or higher that. this time. Mm, yep, the goth has an accuracy buff of one until my next turn. And it has retaliated. So I will pass turn. Go All over right. to Breeze and Gamoons. Alright, time to punch. This guy returns. <laughs> this guy. It's time to punch. Alright, let's see here. Combine. I completely lost track of where my guys were. You're the best. Alright, combine, so... combine. Combine? Oh my god. Don't combine yet. Combine. As your as your teammate, combine. I advise that you should not combine yet. I know all the strats. Combine. One, two. Breeze, combine. Okay, so I'm not going to do the strategy that I want to do. So Jesse should be thankful. 
Was it combined? combined? 